Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about why I think Skylanders Imaginators is the worst game. Um, please don't argue with me in the comments if you disagree. I think Imaginators is one of the better games. Just remember, this is my opinion. Um, and I'm not saying I don't like this game. I still do like it, but it's the only game that I just don't love like any of the others. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Skylanders Imaginators, as you all know, is the last game that Skylanders came out with. And uh, it was a stinker for most Skylanders fans because they don't want the series to end, obviously. Uh, and it came and the gimmick Imaginators means creating your own Skylanders which is kind of cool seeing it's the last game create your own um anyways I'm now gonna talk about why I think it was the worst game and why I feel like it was not really needed in, in the franchise. The reason is because if you, I'm going to talk about Superchargers really quick. Superchargers was not that, I do love it, but it was not one of my favorites for sure. But I will say, and most Skylanders fans will definitely agree with me on this one, Skylanders Superchargers had the best story out of any game. And ending off where Chaos becomes good and joins us, and Florin says boom, and ending off the game. There was really no need for another one. And if there was, I feel like they should have made a different bad guy and chaos be actually good because the chaos becomes evil again and then just never and they just never tell us how he became evil again or anything like that I thought that was very odd so one thing was the story just did not line up at all in my opinion it made no sense um Another thing is, there are really no really good characters that I like. Probably behind Superchargers, my least favorite roster is Imaginators. There's really no one special. Uh, I mean, I like the Golden Queen. I thought was also a pretty good Skylander. Uh, also, the main thing about it was, it just, in my opinion, does not feel like a Skylanders game, and was way too childish in my opinion. One point, you're making a jack-in-the-box, or whatever it was, suck up a vortex and then you're fighting a guacamole monster and the doomlanders really were just designs that a five-year-old would make up and i get this the kids game but and i know i'm a kid because i'm young and you guys can tell me that but i think in my opinion I would rather the quality of the game than it just being for kids because they did know that some of their fan base was also teenagers, maybe even adults, but uh, Superchargers, I mean, I'm sorry, Imaginators just felt unneeded and it felt way too childish for my liking. And it just made no sense to why it was in the game. Now moving on to the gameplay. 
I really didn't like the Chaos Boss fight. For it, probably my least favorite Chaos Boss fight. And the lack of only 10 levels, another thing I didn't really like. And the level design, in my opinion, was not the best. And it just did not feel like a Skylanders game. Uh, I didn't feel as good as it used to with Spyro's Adventure, Crap Team, Swap Force, and you could even say Giants. But it really just made no sense to why this game was made. Seeing you do from the game with the best story to the game with the worst story, the most childish in the game, in my opinion, with the worst gameplay. So, that's the immediate red flag. Even though I do rather like the gameplay and the story. And also, another thing I did not like was the gimmick was really pointless. They should have made it like with the giants where some giants could open, I mean, some imaginators could open certain things that other regular Skylanders couldn't. And same thing with Senseis too. They never did anything like that, which made it no point in the Senseis and no point in the Imaginators. You play as Robo the whole damn time. Now I could literally play as Slam Bam from Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, and I'd still be able to beat the game easily. Uh, like, for example, Trap Team, unlock, you cannot do gates with Trap Masters, which I thought they really just had no ideas how to make it. And you cannot break tra Trap Tanium. I don't know why they did that with the gates, so that was kind of dumb to me, but anyways. You could, and in Swap Force, um, what your path could be, your movement path could be, can unlock different areas to play through. I thought that was another very cool concept. It was just underperformed and really, like it's something you don't need to do. And Giants obviously also are prime examples. And even you could consider Superchargers if you consider the cars, but to me that does not really count. But yeah, Imaginators, if the gimmick was basically pointless, and that's the problem I have with Spyro's Adventure 2. I know it's was life, but all the other games have that too. And the gimmick just felt as pointless. Yes, it was very cool to make your own Skylander, but I would just rather play as one of the other ones I have. Like Taekwon Crow is one prime example, Bad Juju, and some others. And that's the reason, those are all the reasons why I think Imaginators was the worst game in the Skylanders franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed. And coming soon, I will be making a series um, playing through Skylanders Trap Team, but I will be playing as characters from older games. We'll see. I'll be maybe Flam Bam, Wash Buckler, Eyebrow, some examples. And I will play through Trap Team as any character that is not from Trap Team. And I will do that for all the other games as well. Uh, but I will be starting off with Trap Team. Uh, 
I thought it was just a very cool concept to do. Uh, cause Tribe Team is my favorite game if you guys did not know from my rankings video. If you saw it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys understand and respect my opinions.